Breaking news tonight, a federal judge denies the Southwest Virginia man accused of supporting ISIS a request to be on house arrest. The U.S. Marshals will take Romeo Langhorn to Jacksonville, Florida to face charges. Langhorn grew up in our area. He's accused of helping create bomb-making instructional videos and pledging allegiance to ISIS. TED News reporter Shane Dwyer was in the courtroom for this today. So, Shane, you spoke with his mom. What, is, what does she have to say? She's been defending him. John and Lindsay, yes, Virginia Langhorn saying to me tonight, shame on our government for coercing her son with mental issues. Now, the lawyers from Florida came up to prosecute this case. They were in the courtroom here today for this hearing. Now, Romeo Langhorn's lawyer argued Romeo has been diagnosed with schizophrenia and other personality disorders and isn't being properly taken care of at the Western Virginia Regional Jail. His mom and grandmother begged the court to let them take care of him and say he's been off his medication for two years and he does not act normal when he is not on his meds, but the judge decided that was too risky. If they thought he was a threat, why did they let him go this long coercing him when he clearly, it's in the statements in that um, report that he said that they were trying to make him an expert at something that he's not. Now, Langhorn did not speak at the hearing today. His lawyer says he voluntarily went on suicide watch to protect himself from other inmates and not from himself. Now, the judge did order the jail to keep a closer eye on Langhorn and his medication routine. The judge also ordered Langhorn to start receiving a mental evaluation and that medical treatment before he heads to Florida, starting with that as soon as possible. Live in Roanoke, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.